Hello, smart viewers. Welcome to Face to Face with me, William. And uh, for uh, you know, for every episode, we're gonna discuss about interesting topics. And and also for this episode, yeah, none. Uh, it's no different because in this talk episode, we'll discuss uh, more about environment and about how to save environment. Start from little things from your life, yeah, and. You know, I'm I'm gonna give out some of genius way to transform and reuse old plastic bags. So the first is use for packing and stuffing. So plastic is light and durable, so this makes it good for so many different uses. A great way to reuse plastic bags is to use them in packaging. So when you are going to mail a package, try using leftover plastic bags instead of plastic peanuts to insulate and protect your package. And the second one is that make reusable bags or mats. So plastics can be used uh, just like fabric. So you can weave it into bags, rocks and hats. And this is a great way to repurpose your plastic bags because you're using them to make something you will use all the time. So even a plastic bag will last much longer than just one thin plastic bag. You can make some to use as reusable grocery bags. And this is what third one is arts and crafts. So reusing your plastic bags for arts and crafts is a great idea. If you're what you're making is something that will be used all the time, even better. This is called upcycling. So it is a great alternative to throwing out your plastics. Some great ideas of what you can make, uh, you know, like are so various but this is not all you can make the sky's the limit here yeah. you get creative yeah and the th fourth one is sorting so this could be anything you need to sort so you could be sorting fruits and phages from your garden or mismatched socks in the la laundry room yeah and the fifth one is poop detail so poop detail is a great use for those plastic bags so if you have pets you know how important it is to pick up the poop <laughs> before it smear, smells and kills so whatever it has landed on plastic bags are great for kitty litter pickup and disposal so in the next segment i'm going to invite an influencer you know like an environmental activist they will uh, share her perspectives and her tips her quick tips on how to save environment start from little things yeah so don't go anywhere stay tuned on face to face viewers welcome back to face to face still with me William and as I promised on a previous segment I'm gonna invite my special guest for today's episode and just gonna talk about uh, environment and how to save environment so please welcome Ranitya Nurlita hello Hi. welcome to the show thank you so Maybe much you can share your recent activities related to saving this environment our environment uh, yeah um, I active at environmental activist since yeah. 2011 since yeah. I'm ha in um, university yeah. and now um, I'm working on environmental NGO the name is Green Generation Foundation mm. uh, beside that um, I also have community I made with my friends since 2014 the name is ASEAN reusable bag campaign so we educate people in Southeast Asian countries to reducing plastic bag so we trying to them educate them not using plastic and we trying to not um, littering in the oceans yeah. and then how to be a good consumer how to more conscious livings yeah this is my activity oh, yeah. working in full time in foundation and then have my own community and then also selling some product from these organizations oh yeah okay. yeah so um, both professionally and also in social life you always try to uh, communicate with uh, you know people in the world yeah, yep. people especially around community about mm -hmm. uh, you know how to save environment and what I'm curious about what makes you you know like 
try to curious and having interest in you know like more into environmental issues yeah this story is very long oh. <laughs> but <laughs> i will make it short okay. <laughs> um it start when i'm in university i'm become a volunteer on environmental activities in my campus right. and then i'm trying to um become an executive board uh, we call it bmkm in ipb i'm alumni of bogor agricultural university oh, yeah. and from that i feel that i'm curious about environmental things and I think that youth uh, not really care about environment, and then I'm just thinking, huh, who will be um, giving impact if youth not actions, something like that, yeah. and then I make the movements, and then I'm joining uh, exchange program, and then I'm when I'm in the U.S. 2014 uh, during two um, two months, I'm learn about environmental issues and plastic is very curious and for me is i think this is the important thing is my country and yeah. then that's and um in the uh, in the u.s all people is very um care about the environment they not using plastic when in supermarket they use their own reusable bags and then i'm thinking oh why indonesian is not like this and then i'm thinking okay i should have a movement to educate them yeah. how to be more green so that's why ASEAN reusable bags. Yeah, because I think yeah. that like th these topics uh, requires communication. Like education is yep. like power, and like if people don't get informed about the side effects of using plastic, then they will not know. They just couldn't care less about this issue. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because like plastic, they will degrade until fifty years, fifty until thousand years. Yeah. We just lived. 60 is normal, right? 60 yeah. or 70 maximum. And then when we that, and then we t we still have yeah. our waste plastic. Yeah, plastic lives uh -huh. longer than us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> longer <laughs> than <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah. So sad. So that's why. Yeah. Uh, like uh, maybe you could share like the details about how you, you know, try to educate, especially youth, Indonesian youth, about uh, this issue. Like, what are the examples? Um, yeah, one of the example is yeah. this. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> you can share about <laughs> why you wear. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, this, the first thing that you you imagine my face. My face is like the earth. My oh. face is the earth, and then it's plastic is coming to the earth, coming, coming. Uh. Just still many many plastic. Yeah. What do you think? I'm still beautiful or not? <laughs> <laughs> All over the place, is <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Like it's like a burden. It's yeah, yeah, it's also happened in our earth, in our mother earth. Earth still beautiful, and then plastic is coming, and it all so bad, like uh, yeah. so bad. So this how to we educate people, because like plastic will me will make our mother earth bad, and then smell is not really good, and then will make destroying to animals and then um, plants and everything yeah we're trying so to educate like this and then we want to change their behavior not using plastic anymore because our grand grandmother they use their own containers like they mm. use um, banana leaves they use they still can um, live without plastic right yeah. yeah we're trying to educate them like back to basic oh so yeah. try to decrease the plastic yeah usage. decrease the plastic yeah because our mother mother grand grandmother <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're not using plastic they are still okay yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> so um like uh what are the you know like maybe you get people's reactions about you know like maybe not so common that you know about uh, decreasing plastic use, mm -hmm. especially in Indonesia, where yeah. uh, there's a little acknowledgement about you know plastic usage. Well, you know, mm -hmm. like what are the most outrageous reactions, or mm -hmm. you know, like what are the examples of that? Yeah, um, the first thing that Indonesia we have um, second largest plastic polluters in the mm. world. Can imagine yeah. <laughs> second in the world. <laughs> it's the not good rank, but it's, it's bad a rank. Yeah, yeah, it's a bad <laughs> rank. <laughs> yeah. And then we're still waiting until we are in the top, the first, and yeah. then we just actions. No, right? No. Yeah, we s we should action now. and actions. So what they feel when I educate them, why uh, um, when ASEAN reusable bag educate them, is 
they s- they feel like weird. Uh. Because when we going in the restaurant and then educate them, like we not using plastic, we have our n- uh, we have our reusable bag. They said that, are you okay? Is it a problem for you? They said like that. Uh. And then also when I'm not using straws, plastic straws, they feel that hey, it's okay. This straw for you is for free, but not okay for me. <laughs> and then I just uh. Um, giving them, oh, I, I will seek if I use plastic straw, something like that. Ah, and yeah. also when I'm trying not using plastic bottles, they're still thinking that I'm weird, we are weird. Because, yeah, because not really common in our country. Uh, yeah. At, actually, it's really um, difficult to us, but we still educate them and giving them about the danger of plastic and how the impact of plastic. Yeah. So it has to require like continuous pursuit. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we still continue and continue. <laughs> yeah, so the conversation is getting interesting, but we're going to have to take a little break. So stay tuned on Face to Face. Smart viewers, welcome back to Face to Face with me, William, and my special guest for today's episode, uh, Lita. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we have some photos of your activities. So oh. You can take a look a little okay. bit yeah. <laughs> um, for your passion in, you know, saving the environment. <laughs> and um, maybe you can share about this photo. Ah, okay. Um, this photo is long, long time ago. Not really long time ago. Uh-huh. Um, two years ago, um, I giving workshop for youth how to make a good proposal because this campaign, this movement, the name is ASEAN Reusable Bag Campaign, start from the project. Uh-huh. I got grants from U.S. Department of State around ten thousand dollars, and then we implement one year project. After one year project, I still continue it because uh-huh. I have um, we have feel that we should continue although we don't have really much money something like that so we have also trying to how to be a sustainable project then how to be more innovative entrepreneurship so the photos is telling about the um, i'm trying the youth in jakarta how to make a good proposal and how to step by step how to get funding for them how the tricks how do criteria from the government and how criteria from the fi- uh, find uh, the funders something oh like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the next photo. Oh, <laughs> this photo. Yeah, it's 2016. Um, I'm because I'm working as uh, volunteers in Indonesia Bebas Sampah since 2016. So um, I have campaign and also I support them. Indonesia Bebas Sampah, Indonesia Zero Waste Movement. So this is also part of our campaign. So uh-huh. not using plastic, trying to reduce plastic. That I told you before that this is Earth and then plastic coming coming to our Earth and it will be make not beautiful again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's also Mother Earth. Yeah. In the next photo, Ooh. maybe share about this photo. Ah, um, this is 2016 when I'm selected as um, Goodwill Ambassador, the program for Ministry of Youth and Sport Republic Indonesia. So 2008 youth represent each province and we sh- going to Japan, we went to uh, Southeast Asian countries to make um, youth exchange program. We gather with 330 youth around Southeast Asians and also Japan. Uh-huh. And we share our knowledge, we share our experience, and also we share our mutual understanding. Yeah, uh-huh. during two months program by ship. Oh. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's and <laughs> the photos, like, because we are ambassador, so we should have also cultural performance. Oh, and so the photos is the tell about cultural performance in Japan. Oh, yeah. how, how interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, continuing our discussion about, you know, conversation about, you know, like, your activities related to environment mm-hmm. uh, using and maybe you can like um, share 
you know your future plans mm -hmm. about you know like how to cater this project mm -hmm. into Indonesian especially Indonesia people with lack of knowledge and you know care yeah. about um, you know like plastic use mm -hmm. and the danger of you know like of keeping you know the environment itself yeah yeah uh, because this project start 2040 and the project until 2016 um, actually the project already end but I'm still continue until now so the future what I want what we want my team want so now we're still developing our movement so actually what we did during the campaign is consist of some several activities we educate um, university students and then also high school students and then publics and then also um, how to uh, collaborate with governments also we also have innovative entrepreneurship uh -huh. like that what we did um, we sell these products Pull oh the bag, yeah. uh, something like this. <laughs> yes, I so am since okay 2015, we sell more than seven thousand packs, oh and okay. we sell to other countries, Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Philippines, something like that. And then beside this folded bag, we also sell this. Uh, this year, this board game. The name is Sahabat Alam. Sahabat Alam is the environmental board game. We're trying to educate people oh how to be yeah, more yeah. green. Start from the office, start from the school, start from their outdoor activities. So the sport game is trying to how to be a um, green lifestyle. Yeah, a creative people. way of involving. Yeah, creative way. <laughs> so yeah. How to reduce it, like how how we we are going to publics. We can use public transport. Yeah. How to be more green in our houses? We can separate our um waste like yeah. organic waste and organic waste something like that now how to be more green in the office we can use um, our uh, box containers lunch containers also we can not using paper or we use uh, two side paper something like that oh so yeah, yeah we educate them how to be more green reduce and their daily activities reuse reduce recycle. reuse recycle and reviews and reduce uh, <laughs> trying to reduce first reduce oh reduce, <laughs> reduce recycle okay yeah. and um like um maybe you can like give some tips that maybe you know like saving their environment mm -hmm. can start from little things like mm -hmm. uh from personal life like mm -hmm. you when you mentioned before like mm -hmm. in the office maybe you can share some of the tips from the oh. props that you <laughs> brought yeah. okay actually the tips the first step that we want if we want to be more green we should change our personal personal thing behavior our behavior oh, yeah. so like okay I, I want to save our environment trying to re uh, reduce and reducing plastic how to reduce and reducing plastic the first thing that we can do is um, we're trying to bring reusable bags oh. uh, it's up to you what kind of reusable bag what you bring uh, like from um, from this, from the fabrics, like or, back or from yeah. stylish fra uh, stylish bag, or yeah, up to you. Just try to not using plastic, and then also every day I sh I always bring this this uh, stainless straw. Oh. So when I went to restaurant, I always reusing. Uh, uh, sorry, sir or miss, can I can I'm not using straws? I have my own straw, something like yeah. that. And then the third thing is we can bring this our bottles yeah. and then we can reveal it when the water is empty. Yeah, it's just like a three step to be more green. Bring your own bags, bring your own stainless um, straws or bamboo straws and then bring your own con um, bottles. Water container, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, another thing like using public transport, thinking before producing waste, something like that. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But the important thing is this three Three things, three green stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, because it's you basic. mainly use it for your daily life. Yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> and we can also put in our bags. It's oh very yeah, simple. Yeah. yeah, simple things can make a difference. Yeah, right? of course. Yeah. Uh -huh. If we do it all together. Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> and mm -hmm. so, and what do you think about the uh, and for governmental aspect, you know, like mm -hmm. the waste management in Indonesia? What do you think about that? And what do you think about the future? Yeah. Um, thing about the government's law enforcement because I'm working also on environmental NGO yeah. and we're still forcing this law enforcement. Yeah. Um, the future, we believe that our government will be more care about waste management. 
So that's why we as a youth, we as a grassroots, we should working together with them. So that's why I become volunteer of Indonesia Beba Sampah because uh, the government also, they have the future plans, Indonesia Beba Sampah 2025. Oh, okay. So we support them and then we make uh, together activities like last month, we have Jambore Beba Sampah. So we gather um, around 300 environmental activists from Aceh to Papua, 34 provinces. And we discuss about law enforcement because the government also, they have, um, uh, they have their regulations since around 2010, 2014, but it's not really implemented. Implement, yeah. yeah. So, so we're trying to uh, force them about law enforcement and then how to be implemented um, regulations, something like that. But oh. I believe, we believe as um, environmental activists, we believe that the government will more care about waste management yes, in Indonesia. So <laughs> yeah, so um, maybe you can share some, uh, some, you know, your message to the smart viewers regarding, you know, like saving the environment uh, from, yeah, from your daily life. Maybe you can share some of your message here. Okay. Um, before we produce thing waste, we should thinking about ways that we produce, of course, trying to reviews and just say that we are okay without plastic. Just say it. We are okay without plastic because we can still live without plastic. Yeah. So thank you so much, yeah. Lita, for coming to the show. Thank you so much. Your message can inspire smart viewers out there, you know, yeah. like to start refusing. Yeah, <laughs> refusing and reducing. <laughs> reducing <laughs> and also reduce and uh, recycle. Yeah. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've come to the end of the show, so be sure to check out another episode of Face to Face at the same day and time. Until then, I'm William, signing off. Bye-bye. <laughs>